Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. It's super dark in here. Let me turn on the light. So, if you're wondering why it's super dark and it's like 10 in the morning, it's because I put up all my blackout necessities. Today I wanted to film a vlog of kind of like a get ready with me, get ready for work kind of video. So, I'm super out of breath right now because I it's a whole struggle to try and block off the top of my curtains. But yeah, so usually what I do in the mornings is I will go ahead and work out. I wake up at whatever time I wake up and then after I work out I'll shower, I'll eat, and then pretty much around 10 to 12 is when I go ahead and try and sleep. And I'll try to sleep as much as I can, and then I'll wake up, or like get up, around 5 something. So, let's go ahead and take my melatonin, because God knows I won't sleep on my own. So, these ones are the 30 milligram per serving, so it's only 1.5 per gummy. And these ones work fairly well for me, so I continue to take those. So I woke up around like 6.30, did not want to get up. So I was just laying in bed on my phone. But then I went on a morning walk and I did a little bit of a HIIT workout and I got way too tired. So took my melatonin, was editing a little bit, and now I'm just going to like chill out. So... I'll see you guys when it's time for my shift. Alexa, play my Spotify. You like songs from Spotify. So now we don't have to wear any certain uniform. Well, we didn't have to anyway. I kind of just wear whatever because we change into our own um, scrubs when we get there. We go into like OR scrubs. So that's why I'm just wearing the top. And then I only wear my under scrub and I never wear that um, under the scrubs anymore. Which is actually really nice so that I don't have to bring any germs home. Someone also donated this really good soup that was super spicy and it gave me heartburn. <laughs> and it was like some sort of, it started with a B, it's a Mexican one. They said tr it's traditionally made with goat. If anyone knows the name of it, comment down below because I don't know the name of it, but it was really freaking good. It had like all these spices, onions, like ginger. It was super good and it was like bright red. So that's why I kind of knew it was going to be spicy, but it was so good. But it gave me really bad heartburn. And like, I already have GERD, so that was like an issue for me. <laughs> but it's fine. It's whatever. I ate really bad last night. I ate like lemon cake and I drank Starbucks. 
so I'm not gonna eat breakfast or my dinner right now. I'm gonna try and just take a shower and go to sleep and then try to do some sort of workout tonight. But we will see. Hopefully, I don't know. Sometimes I like to try and work out right after work, but I'm like not feeling it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Hey, there's literally no line. Oh, frick. There's a line. Okay, it's actually moving pretty fast. It's not like crazy long, but there's still obviously a line. It's because. It Basically, any time that you are at the Starbucks and it's after 8, there's a line. So usually I'll come around like 7.50 and there's like nobody here. But anytime after that, it gets really, really long. And I, I also wanted to talk about something. This is more like a car talk. I really need something to prop my... Okay. So the sad issue that we're like facing right now is the fact that is the fact that so many people are getting laid off or for low and it's not just like in Disneyland anymore it's literally in the hospitals as well which is insane so like first of all um even like I'm brand new and I got flexed and I'm full-time so it's crazy the fact that they flex me um they're not just like flexing the nurses, but also like our lift team got completely flexed, our transport team. So for those of you who don't know me, I work in the emergency department. I've been working there since October. So I'm like barely new and I'm really busy. Hold on. Okay, so I'm So they... They have specific transport nurses who take the patients to our other tower, which is where we have more stable patients. Um, but now it's more of um, a COVID unit. But it's pretty sad to see. It was sad to see that our transport nurses got flexed and our lift team got flexed because of the fact that <sighs> made me feel guilty because I don't personally pay rent. I don't live on my own and I don't necessarily um, depend on this income to live, but some people are providing for families. And it made me feel guilty the fact that like I still have a job, but some people don't. And some people who need it the most like really don't. And it's just like sad and and it's not even just like businesses anymore like this whole event is causing people even in the hospital to lose jobs and people who think that they had job security because even nurses are on four low right now because um like i think one of the surgical units even got shut down because it was supposed to be an overflow for the covid but because there's a lack of census right now, um, that whole unit is actually closed, which is insane. I can't even believe. So all in all, I'm so thankful to have a job, even though sometimes I uh, hate going to work. But hold on, let me order real quick. Good morning, can I get you started with any breakfast today? Uh, no, thank you. All right, what can I get for you? Can I get one tall, hot vanilla coffee with cream? I'm thankful for job security. The fact that even though, like the emergency department is so um, unpredictable that I guess that's why they never give us. A lot of people have like AOKs, which is where they can essentially get canceled before even coming due to low census. But for us, we, I've never been, canceled ever um i've only ever been flexed and most of the time it's because i asked to flex like i've never even been asked 
to flex because I don't know like most people are okay to flex flexing isn't like it's bad if you really really need the money but I don't really need the money right now which is why I'm just like well if you they're even literally asking us like if you your nurse asks you to flex don't or your chargers ask you to flex don't get mad hold on let me get my badge because some people are kind of getting upset but it's just like the fact that our census is so low our hospital really can't accommodate for it and if you watch my old video that I had I don't remember which video it was where I showed our whole big tent our tent is huge and like it was actually like the person who where's my stuff oh wait I forgot. So dumb. My badge is right here. Um, but our tent was actually built by the person who builds the Coachella tents. So I'm sure it was expensive. And it comes out of the hospital's cost and stuff. And if you don't know, our ratio, at least in our AD, is 4 to 1. Some ADs, it's 3 to 1. But now... Most days I'll have like three or two or sometimes even one, which is insane. And I know a lot of people are starting to train, which is actually kind of good because then you only have two patients. You too. See, that nice lady did not charge me. See. It, I think it really depends on your barista because even when I worked at Disney, um, a lot of people would get extra cornbread at the mint jewel, or not the mint jewel, the French market. And it's really up to you. Like, do you want to charge them or do you not care? Like, I wouldn't care because I'm just like, it's like, you pay so much for Disney already, I wouldn't charge them. But there is a place to market. And I guess technically it's marketed as just free coffee, like just a tall regular coffee with like cream. So I guess technically flavoring is extra. But I don't know. I've been really addicted to the hot coffee lately. Sometimes I'll get, um, I haven't gotten a cold coffee in a really long time. I think it's because when I wake up, I just like having something warm. Go, go, go. But I'm so sad. I like, I'm not able to celebrate my birthday with my friends. We were supposed to go on this Duffy boat. Oh my gosh. We were supposed to go on a Duffy boat like last weekend. That's why I rescheduled my trauma nursing certification thing that's why I'm so sad but what can you do anyway I'm gonna shower I really kind of want to work out but I feel so disgusting so I'm just gonna shower and then sleep for a little bit and then we'll try and work out later but I really want soju and chicken because I'm watching this Korean drama called What's with Secretary Kim and now I'm always craving chicken and soju and beer and I don't even like beer so it's really saying something anyway I'm almost home now and I'm really tired My throat always feels super dry after work. I don't know if it's because of this mask or because I don't drink enough water. But it always goes away after I sleep. So, it's not COVID, y'all.